Did Meghan Markle's cheerleader, Omid Scobie, just attack Princess Catherine for her fake photo? You guys are not going to believe this one. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd where i break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness let's jump into this madness shall we because yesterday for the uk it was mother's day and we got this tweet initially from princess Catherine, uh saying thank you for your kind wishes and continued support over the last two months wishing everyone a happy happy mother's day see as in princess Catherine, right uh this was taken this picture by prince william and here they are right princess Catherine with her lovely three children and then this happened right a kill notification uh where apparently at closer inspection it appeared that the source had manipulated the actual picture and that no replacement photo will be sent so the notification was to remove it from all platforms including social where it may still be visible and so yeah this caused a lot of conspiracy theories and Libraus himself omid scoby to come out from the woodwork right mysterious he says at least three international news agencies including reuters have pulled today's kensington palace photo release from circulation ap which is associated press have removed the photo from their wires claiming it appears to have been manipulated no comment from kp kensington palace yet now this is the thing right oh he said other things and we're going to get to that in a moment but why put a judgment on this and say mysterious, right? That is a very, very judgmental statement to make, to say it's mysterious, right? Mm, okay, so then we have Princess Catherine who then goes back onto Twitter and yeah, apologizes, saying like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See, Princess Catherine, right? Oh, but Libraus had to respond, guys, and here we go. It's fair to say that most photos released by the offices of public figures have been retouched in some way. So if this was an isolated incident, then it would be just an unfortunate error. But with the palace's long history of lying, covering up, and even issuing statements on behalf of family members without their permission, i.e., of course he had to put it in, Prince has her, right? It's becoming increasingly difficult for the public to believe a word and now photo they share. Gaining that back at this point is an impossible task. So here, right, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, he is accusing Princess Catherine of lying, covering up, and that potentially the statement that was just made here, not from Princess Catherine, because he's saying here a long history of uh, issuing statements on behalf of family members without their permission. Oh, guys, did Omid Scobie just attack Princess Catherine for that fake photo? Well, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. I believe so, guys. I really, really do. However, um, yeah, Omid Scobie, it is difficult for the public to believe a word you say, and gaining that back at this point is certainly an impossible task with, you know, what happened last year with Endgame. Mm, yeah, yeah. Pot calling the kettle black? Maybe, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But no, of course, the Sussex squad, they come out in force to bully Princess Catherine. Uh, we've got Dr. Shola Moss Shogbamimu. If I've mispronounced that, I really do apologize. I'm really bad with pronunciations, guys. 
Uh, but here, tweets under 24 hours, Kensington Palace tweets, Princess of Wales apology to clear up confusion because hers and Prince William credibility is at risk. So why didn't Kay ever tweet apology to clear up confusion for Megzi made Kate cry, lie which fed global racist pile on against Megzi? Well, maybe there's no tweet apology because there's no need to clear up any confusion. It was, you know, Megzi that made Princess Catherine cry. So a bit of conspiracy theory or whatever, right? Maybe they're not clearing up any confusion because there's, you know, no confusion to clear up. And on the other hand, why didn't, okay, Megzi clear up the whole confusion following on from the Oprah Winfrey interview where all the headlines pretty much was, oh my goodness, there's a royal racist in the family because they questioned the colour of the unborn baby Archie's skin, blah, blah, blah. Not once during that period when all those headlines came out, did they, Megzi or Hazza, clear up that confusion by saying, no, 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 we didn't say it was a royal racist. It's just unconscious biasness. It was only about two, three years later after Spare came out that when Prince Hazza was doing the uh, rounds to promote the book, that's when he said, no, 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 we didn't say racist. We said unconscious biasness. Mm, yeah. Okay. But no, the Sussex squad still come out in force. We've got Shane Reaction here saying it's not even the editing that's come back to bite. It's the editing and then passing them off as real that's done the arm. On social media, that's fine. But press associations are a different matter. We also have Nicolette here saying the photo was taken by Will earlier this week when, in fact, it was taken in November 2023. Now, I'm seeing a lot of, oh, no, 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 this photo was taken from the uh, Vogue magazine or November 2023 or whatever, right? Yeah, of course the faces are going to match. It's Princess Catherine. It's her face. It's how she smiles. It's her dimensions. <laughs> they are going to match. It is what it is, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. But yes, the British Prince, here we go, like clockwork. Megzi and Hazard's Sussex squad, online harassment pair tr trolls are attacking the Princess of Wales and her children. What did Megzi just say at South by Southwest? Mm. I repeat to Archwell and WME, William Morris Endeavour, clean up your own backyard and practice what you preach. I totally agree with that. And we've got Pierce Morgan here, you know, asking, is it a fake photo? Now, not exactly. So Jesus over at the Royal Rogue has been cleaning up a lot of these conspiracy theories, a lot of confusion around this particular photo. So guys, really lovely friend. I absolutely adore him. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to him on YouTube and follow him on Twitter. He's absolutely amazing with the memes, right? But he explains here that a stitched photo is not exactly fake. You take 10 photos of the same scene and then stitch them so you get the best expressions of the models on a single image. You're taking a picture of reality. It's just a sloppy, sloppy stitching, bit of alliteration there, just gets in the way of appreciating it. And Tom Harwood goes a little bit further, saying to take the tinfoil hat off for a second isn't the most likely explanation that fidgety kids weren't all looking the right way at the same time. So multiple images were composite to make a good photo. And that's pretty standard in family photography. I would say so. But you know what? Next time, Kensington Palace, Prince William, Princess Catherine, hit up my friend Jesus because he's saying he'll do it for free. He'll do it. He'll sort out the Photoshop and he'll do it for free. And he's pretty amazing. He's pretty, 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 pretty good at that. Uh, but, you know, here is really the solution uh, for Kensington Palace to clean up this mess. Because it is a mess. Regardless, the reality is, yeah, this is an absolute mess that they're in at the moment because of this photo. And Jesus, I think, is hitting the nail on the head here, saying, look, release the full batch of pictures that we used to make the full stitched image. Make fun of Prince William or whoever stitched the final picture's lousy Photoshop skills and call it a day. I absolutely agree with that. Uh, Jesus has hit the nail on the head with all of that. But to recap, yeah, Mother's Day yesterday in the UK, we get this lovely photo. I mean, to be fair, I didn't even notice the Photoshop issues, to be fair. That's how bad my eyesight is, apparently. 
But of course, coming out in the woodwork is Lybrows himself, Omid Scorby. First saying mysterious, uh, making a judgment against Princess Catherine and uh, the photo. Princess Catherine makes an apology, but of course, Lybrows then has to respond to all of that, um, saying, you know, the long history of lying, covering up, and even issuing statements on behalf of family members without their permission becoming increasingly difficult for the public to believe a word they say. Gaining that back is almost an impossible task. Well, not for the royal family, but for you, dude? Mm, yeah, again, pot calling the kettle black. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Her tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Omid Scobie, do you think he attacked Princess Catherine with those tweets? I believe so, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.